The financial details of West Ham's rental agreement for the Olympic Stadium have long been a controversial discussion point. Critics called the deal ludicrously cheap, yet David Gold has stated that without West Ham, the taxpayer would be at a far greater loss with regards to the stadium. The total cost of the stadium was £534 million. That includes the original construction and the conversion of the stadium to make it appropriate to host football games and athletics. For up to 25 games, West Ham will pay £2.5 million per year. That's the equivalent of £100,000 per game. They are not liable to pay for stewarding or equipment such as goalposts and nets, undersoil heating and floodlights, or security and cleaning. The BBC reported that these costs would total at between £1.4 and £2.5 million per season, depending on the size of the stadium. It's clearly an incredible deal for West Ham, perhaps not so for the taxpayer. Rudimentary calculations show that with West Ham's rent alone, it would take 213 years to recoup the cost of the stadium, by which point the taxpayer will have spent a similar amount in security and stewarding to keep the stadium operable. No one would begrudge West Ham Football Club for jumping at such a deal, yet their conduct where it relates to the community surrounding the bowling ground is less understandable. A number of cafes, pubs, stalls will be directly affected by the stadium move, greatly reliant on match day for their livelihood. Though the club made some initial overtures to local business owners during the early stages of their deal, there was little follow-up and the club are practically abandoning their reliant community. To counter negative attention, West Ham have stressed that 700 new jobs will be created in Stratford as a result of the move and the new apartment complex in place of the Berlin ground will help to gentrify the area when the club leave. Yet perhaps they should ask the low-income families who were living in Hackney a decade ago how gentrification worked for them. For the vast majority, it didn't, and they were priced out of their family homes due to rising private rents and wealthier individuals moving into the area. Karen Brady reportedly received a £1 million bonus for orchestrating West Ham's deal, Yet the club, despite their very favourable financial standing, are yet to help those in their local community who will be directly and negatively affected as a result of the stadium move. The club might stress the positivity of this move for their fans, yet on-field success is not the sole reason to attend football matches. For many, it is about community. Part of the rhetoric of a football club like West Ham is the fans make us yet they are clearly denigrating this message by abandoning a community that has supported them for decades.